Hello everyone. It's happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. And we are going to work on, um, we're not going to work. I'm not going to work today. Hopefully all you guys are going to work while you um, watch or um, if you're watching a recording, I hope you are working along uh, with the collage. I've had a lot of questions and a lot of, um, we all need just a little bit more direction, I think. <laughs> so hi, Vicki. Um, this is a live stream. Um, there are people in the chat that I will be um, talking with and answering questions and all that good stuff. So if you're watching a recording, um, I'm not just talking to myself. I am talking to people. And I'm not uh, completely crazy yet, but I'm getting there fast. Um, fussy cutting stuff is good. Um, that's, a, that's a great thing. Um, Harvesting Magazine is wonderful, wonderful. I've got a lot, a lot to say. Um, I think last week when we started doing all this stuff, I kind of, um, we went about it the wrong way. I kind of, was like starting a race. Okay, everybody ready? We're going to start the race. As soon as this gun goes off, we're going to start the race. Okay, there's the gun. And no one knows where to go or what to do or what, and everybody's running around. And um, some people are doing really well, though. Um, some of the pictures that I've seen are fabulous. So, um, so we're going to start again, and we're going to talk about some collage, and um, we're going to have some fun. I've been busy doing so many other things, and I've not had a chance to really have some fun, and I am getting ready to have some fun, um, finally. So um, I'm continuing my birthday funness uh, into February because I didn't have any fun in January. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Um, as soon as I get some of my stuff finished, um, I am just going to fiddle and play and stuff. So I am slowing down a little bit, and uh, hi Shells, um, slowing down just a little bit so that I can enjoy the process just a little bit more. Um, I, I like to fiddle, um, that's, that's what I like to do, and I'm going to show you how I fiddle and what I'm looking for and all that good stuff. So um, I kind of wanted to revisit this book. And I've not done a flip through on the three tier book because um, I kind of wanted it to be finished before I did a flip through. But I kind of want to talk about the basics of collage. And Helen last week was asking um, what collage was, is, um, and all that stuff. Uh, and I kind of I kind of skimmed over um, the whole thing. You know, collage can be just anything that you want it to be. Um, collage is something that's different for everyone. It's it's it can be fun. It's it's uh, really really simple. You can use whatever you have on hand, um, so it's not really expensive. Um, but there are different types of collage, uh, and I think Helen need needed a definition of collage so she would have some kind of idea where to go, um, what kinds of things she wanted to do, um, and a, an idea of, of how to progress and how to, to, to work with it. Um, I don't want to get all caught up with the definitions of collage and all that stuff. Mostly what I want to convey is um, having fun. Let's have some fun. Let's put some pictures together and make some books or make some um, pictures that we enjoy and, and want to look at again and have fun with. Um, that's And that's why I, I kind of glazed over it, Helen. Um, I don't want to get hung up on the definitions of, of anything. Um, not because it's a bad thing, uh, you know, I don't want to stress anybody out. Um, you know, oh, I'm not doing it right. Well, you're not doing, there's no right way to do it. So you can't, you, there's no way that you can be doing it wrong is what I was trying to, um, 
to say. So I kind of wanted to first talk about what collage is. Um, for me, um, collage is um, a way to group pictures together. Um, and I like to group stuff together on a page so that I like looking at certain things. I will um, like say this this collage right up here. And we see that um, I started with that picture that it was a partial picture of the girl um, and I decided that is what I wanted to start with. I want to do something with that picture. I like that picture. So then I started putting different pieces of paper with it to enhance that picture. Now this is pretty much one picture on a background and I've added some texture on top of it just to incorporate it into the page. So it doesn't look like I just put something down there um, for no reason. It's just sitting there floating on on the page. Um, I've got stuff everywhere. Hopefully I can find examples of what I'm talking about. Um, this postcard that I did is it, this eye. It's a, it's a picture that I took pictures of. Uh, it's a mannequin I took pictures of. Um, and I put it down there and I stamped over the picture but you still see all these straight lines here and it still looks like I just planted a picture on there and stamped a little bit over it. It doesn't feel like it belongs in the collage. It's just kinda floating there. It's, it needs some more stuff to interact with. Um, and that's what collage is. It's a, it's a grouping of different elements that interact with each other. You, what you're doing is you're creating um, a reality. Um, it's like a dream. You know, the, the dreams are, you know, uh, unexpected. You never know what you're going to dream or, you know, what's going to happen. And there are no rules in dreams. And, you know, all kinds of stuff happens. Um, and you have no control over what happens, kind of, kind of, you know what I mean? Um, and collage is kind of like that. It's kind of images that are intermingling with each other for sometimes no, no apparent reason. Sometimes they just look right together. Sometimes you're working out problems. It's, it's putting images together with backgrounds and um, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's what collage is for me. It's creating um, a moment just a moment and you're taking a picture of that um, imaginary moment and all the elements that went in that moment are on the page now. Um, you can think of collage as um, kinda like music. Um, you have a, a, a focal point, you know, you have the lyrics or uh, the lead singer is, is singing. Um, if that lead singer was singing with no music and no backups and he was just singing all by himself, I mean, I'm sure the song would be great. You know, some people can really do that if they're really, really talented. But what really makes the song, our favorite songs, really what makes us like those songs are the, the music that goes along with it, the drums and the guitars and, you know, all the different elements of the music, the backup singers, um, you know, everybody's doing something just a little bit different and they're all adding to a single piece of music. So you have to think of a collage kind of in that way. You've got your main parts, but you've got the backgrounds and you've got, you know, things, um, that are underneath the, the collage that are um, elevating it and making um, the, the, the um, um, you're making the collage just a little bit more um, like a, a single piece. 
Um, you need all the other little bits. If you had a song without any drums, you'd be missing something. I mean, it wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be the, the same. So you need all these little elements all put together um, to make a moment that is kind of special. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, we're going to talk about some images and stuff and what, what collage is. Um, I like to have a focal point um, and I like to try to incorporate that inside the page. Um, I overlap things. I stamp over things. Um, I, I glue things on top so that it doesn't look like a square picture that was put on top of a page. So it looks like it all belongs together. Hi Sarah. Thank you. It's not my birthday till Sunday, but it's my birthday month, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. And down here is, is another, you know, little little bits of, you know, this ticket, um, the two, the part of the two came off, so I separated it and put it over here. Um, so there's really no reason any of this stuff goes together. Um, I just kind of thought um, that they it looked kind of interesting. I like numbers. I like numbers on anything. So um, the top part of this is, I think it's an index or something that had a ton of numbers. And then I've got the larger numbers um, underneath. Uh, a part of what I like about collage, what the something that I like looking at is um, scale. I like large things with small things. I don't want everything um, to be exactly the same. Um, if I wanted to take a picture of something, um, it would be all in scale. Everything would be the same. Um, that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing a collage. So I want a great big huge cat with a little tiny house. Um, I want it to be interesting. I want it to be different. I want my world, my reality, my moment to be um, something different, uh, something that you're not going to find just um, someplace else. So I kind of wanted just to flip through so that you can see some of these little bits of collage um, and see that a lot of times um, there is no reason for me to put things together. Uh, and I've overlapped um, pieces of paper on top of other pictures. Um, there's no reason for this couple that's dancing to be in, in, in back of this chair. Uh, and I don't think the chair really needs to be in front of this bridge. I mean, the, the whole scene does not make any sense at all. I just put it together because I like the colors, basically. Um, and I like the three different elements. I like things in threes. Um, it, it helps my mind think that it really belongs. Um, this one, this one with the cat, I'm not real fond of um, because, and I think the reason I like it is because I cut the little page in half. There's two halves. It's two. Uh, so I think I probably need to add uh, another image to it just to make three images on there so that it doesn't look like it's, you know, there's no relation at all to these two halves of this page. So it, something needs to um, combine these two elements together to make it look like it's a whole thing. Um, and, and that is, you know, one of those things it, that comes with practice. You got to know what you like to see, what you like to do, um, and what works for you and what doesn't. Um, sometimes, you know, a, a collage just will not work out. No matter, um, no matter, no matter what you do to it, it you're not going to like it. Um, not all collages work. Um, here's one that I like, um, and I like my center image. Um, it's off off the center of the page a little bit. Um, add a body to them. 
that might work except uh, yeah i he needs something but he need th these two uh, something needs to go over this picture to connect them they're there's two separate things um hi julie hi terry they're they're two there's they're two separate they need to be um connected somehow um and the reason i like this is it's off it's not on the center that it draws your eye into it a little bit. Um, the image, this whole image here together kind of ties the background in together. Um, the octopus with the typewriter, yes. I like the octopus with the typewriter. Um, and I also wanted to talk about where to find images and, and stuff like that, okay? So I got a lot to talk about. I got a lot, a lot to talk about. Um, this image I shouldn't like very much because it is only two, it's two images, it's not three. It is a piece of scrapbook paper on the bottom. And then this octopus is actually, um, it's a label, it's upside down. This is what it looks like on the bottle. It's a bottle of, um, what's it called? Um, I think it's a kind of rum. I forget what the name of it, but it is a label off of a bottle. And it is actually, if you see the little ship right there, he's, he's supposed to be underwater, I think, and he's getting the ship. But I liked him better this way, so I turned him upside down. And why? Um, did I put a typewriter with an octopus? Absolutely no reason. Absolutely none. Except I just liked the way it looked. It shouldn't be right, but it's like a dream. Um, nothing makes sense. And that's what makes it just a little bit more fun. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be serious. It doesn't have to... Um, and that's what I like about collage. Um, you can put anything with anything uh, and it kind of, it works. So, um, yes, collage, what, it depends on what you're working on um, to what, what feels right to you. More arms to use the typewriter. Funny, Orla, that's great. So I'm just going to do some little flipping through here so you can see some of these collages um, as they are. Um, and I guess I can talk a little bit more about them. Um, some of them are more simple than others, but I really still think that, um, that they are they're collages. Um, and of course, I still need a whole lot more work done. Um, I love tickets. I love putting tickets um, in all kinds of stuff. This is a copy of a ticket. Um, I love writing. I like handwritten letters. I like postage stamps. Um, I like images. Um, and I put images together that really don't need to be together. Um, Um, so, uh, some of these are kind of boring and they kind of need something else. Um, and what I usually do when I'm working is I've got, I've got a whole tray here because so I keep moving it around. <laughs> I keep moving, you know, I go to the other room and work on it and all that good stuff. So I have all the kinds of stuff that in the right color scheme that I think might work in this book. So when I get to a page where, you know, something needs to be put here, um, I kind of rifle through my images and I do add things and subtract things and decide what I want, but I will audition stuff. Um, that's too big. Um, this is like two different two things. I don't know if I really like that together, um, but I could probably 
add something on her and to tie it into each other just a little bit. That's not too bad, I kind of like that, but I think it needs a little bit something else. What else can I find to put in here? Here's a little something. I could probably put something down here and layer stuff on and make a little um, a little statement or, or whatever. Um, so I fiddle. I fiddle a lot. Um, I audition all kinds of little stuffs and I play and this takes me a long, long, long time. But I enjoy doing that. I like just looking and seeing, um, well, what would it look like over here on this page? Um, I don't really like that. It kind of, it blocks the eggs too much. It's something else would have to be put over there. But, um, so I will sit there and I don't necessarily finish a collage on one page before I'm like, I, I'm kind of stuck with this one. I'm not having any more fun with it. Let me move on to something else and see what else um, I can work on and come back to it later. Maybe I'll find a different image that will work in that little area. Um, something else will spark me. Um, and I'll just come across something else later on, like, oh, that would be perfect in that spot. Um, and that's part of me just wanting to fiddle and play and relax. Collage for me is, is relaxing. It's not supposed to be stressful. It's not supposed to, you know, it, it's not supposed to make sense. Um, it's just supposed to be fun. Um, it's really not supposed to make sense. And that's what I li like about collage is, you know, I can do all kinds of stuff and I can be silly and it's not serious and it's fun. Um, and I like this book in particular. I've had so much fun with it because um, I have added so many different kinds of things, text, um, book pages, and you know, different kinds of book pages. I've got dictionary pages. I've got written letters. I've got um, 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 encyclopedias, um, Japanese writing. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff. Um, I've got magazine pictures. I've got, um, and that's you know one of the things I did want to talk about. I can I can go through this book and tell you all the kinds of things that are in here. Um, I look for images everywhere. I will not, um, when I'm outside and I'm, you know, shot at the, at the supermarket and I'm going across the parking lot and I see bits of paper on the ground, I pick it up. Um, I love the, the idea of, I love weathered paper. I love paper that's been out in the rain. It's been out in the sun. It's bleached. It's crinkled. It's, you know, rubbed off. It's been run over by cars. Um, I love that stuff and I treasure that stuff. I absolutely love it. So I am picking up stuff off the ground constantly. <laughs> um, this image right here, the bird is actually from a uh, thank you note. It's a card and I just cut out the bird and put him on there, stamped some stuff on top and um, put him on a Japanese book page. And that's all that is. It's, it's a card. Um, down here, we've got, I think that's a book page, wrapping paper, a magazine page. And this is some of that store-bought um, ephemera. Um, I think it's Tim Holtz. But um, you yeah, have the hubby bring, yeah, I have someone that brings stuff to me too. Um, <laughs> pretty bad when, you know, I'm not a big flower person. I would rather have uh, uh, an old magazine that, that somebody was trying to throw away than, than I would flowers. That's how, that's how crazy I am. So um, we've got um, an old label, a magazine picture, scrapbook paper is really good for backgrounds. Um, here we've got a book page, 
Here's a uh, dictionary part. This is a picture out of a book. Um, I think this is actually a label. Here's an image from a book and a, a magazine picture. Here is a piece. Um, it's, it's actually an old, let me see if I can get it in the light. It's an old um, embroidery floss um, paper. Um, and I love old labels and stuff like that. So this is a great place to add stuff that I can look at later. Um, I'm tired of having all my stuff in um, a box. Um, I enjoy looking at images like this and I save it and treasure it and hoard it um, like a lot. Uh, but to order for me to go say, see it, I have to rummage through the box. I'm bending the pages, papers and, and all the stuff in there. Um, I can't see anything. If I use it in the collage, I can come back and I can see that little bit of paper and I can enjoy it um, without having to rummage through a box to look for it. So um, here's some graph paper that I had actually painted. It's a part of an old map. Um, what else do we have? Here is, um, it's an old pharmacy um, subs pers prescription that I used. A piece of catalogs. Catalogs are great for images. Um, make sure you keep your eye open for catalogs. Um, old pictures. This is a family picture. Um, I probably should have made it a little bit smaller, but um, I kind of liked it, so I just put it in there. It's not really a collage because it's just a single picture, but I liked it, and it'll go great with everything else. Um, I'm going to talk about um, finding images and stuff. This little strip of buttons right here is actually one of my photographs. Um, I have recently um, printed out a bunch of my photographs on regular paper so I can use them in collage. Um, I like using my own photographs of all kinds of stuff because it makes it more personal. It makes it more mine. Um, no one else is going to have that picture of buttons. Um, other people are going to have magazine pictures, but they're not going to have that kind of thing. I love to make my own um, collages, um, make them really personal and use uh, my own stuff, you know, ticket stubs and things uh, that I've been using, you know, grocery lists and um, I can't think of anything right now, but you know, letters and things like that. It makes it more personal. It makes it more your own stuff. Um, here's another bottle label. I think it came off a of beer but I love the little houses, so I put that there. This is um, a scrapbook paper. Um, this is a printout from the internet. Can you see that? It's a printout. Um, I like the look of it. I need to add more stuff to it um, to make it more um, um, incorporated in the page. It looks like it's just stuck there so far, but it needs more stuff. Um, and that is the fun part for me. Here is, this was on a greeting card, and I like that moon. There's a piece of dictionary, and I just recently found this cat in a catalog, and I thought this little black cat needed to be with the moon. Um, and I might just keep it that way. I want to look at it a little bit more. It might need a little bit more stuff. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm not really worried about it. I kind of like looking at it just the way it is at this point. So, um, and that's, that's what I want to do, is I just want to, here's a piece of music. I love music in my collages. I just love music. Um, and so I'm getting ready to figure out what can I put on, on that that I like the looks of. Um, pieces of envelope, the security patterns, I love those, um, and I like putting that stuff in. Of course, the camera's not picking up those little tiny stripes, but another um, label off a bottle. 
Let's see, what else have we got in here? Here's something that I didn't like. Yes, I am recording. Thank you, Vicki. Um, I didn't like, I had put this piece right in the center of the page, and every time I tried to put something around it, um, it just didn't look right to me. Um, and I had glued it down really, really well, and I can't get it off again. Um, so I'm just going to put something on top of it. Um, it just, nothing was working right with it. It just didn't feel right. Um, and I didn't like it, so I went ahead and tried to take it off. Um, so I wouldn't have so many layers on there, I tried to take it off. But it's really glued down. Well, here's comes some, some more. And then... With this little piece, I'm going to save that little piece because that little piece might be really cool um, someplace else. Well, not right there, but where's that little mouse? So, so I've got this little piece that might be neat. It might tie in um, something else, anything else. It might go over a seam that needs to be blended together. Um, I am. I'm going to keep that little piece and figure out some place that it needs to be. But I don't want to force it and make it live somewhere until I know I like the looks of it. So I'm going to put it in my pile and do something with it later. Um, now where was I? Where was I? Um, I don't think we got there yet. Stamped images are great. Uh, this is a sticker. This is a piece of postcard that I took the cardboard off of. Um, map. We went past this part already, haven't we? Here's some written letters. Here's another one of my photographs that I've printed out on paper. Um, yeah. Um, I should have said that um, on one of the one of one of the secrets of and we'll get into it later but you know to do the basic basics um, to glue a whole bunch of stuff to on top of each other and then rip it apart like that is called decollage um, when you're layering stuff on top of stuff um, and then like ripping part of it off to reveal what's underneath is really a kind of a cool fun thing to do because you never know what you're going to get. Um, but we're going to visit that later. Yes, that is a fun thing to do. Um, scrapbook papers. Um, this was a calligraphy. It came with a calligraphy pen, I think. It was the instructions. This one might be an old one. Written letters, book pages, book illustrations. Um, I embossed a tree on this page. Cause I wanted it to be really really dark um, and it kind of goes with this tree in the picture it kind of blooms out um, I'm not sure if I know if I might add some more stuff to it I might just leave it the way it is um, this is definitely a work in progress um, and it needs a lot of stuff still here's another piece that I'm not sure I'm gonna keep there I put it in the middle and I'm when I frame it, it, it's almost too busy in the background. And that is one of the problems with collage sometimes is the background is, is too busy. And um, when you put things on top of it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't enhance your, the image that you want to look at. It kind of distracts from it. It kind of buries it in too much, too much stuff for your eye to look at. Um, and this is one of those, I think it's too dark, I think it's too busy. I might remove that um, because I can't seem to figure out a way to tone it down without adding paint. Um, and that is another thing that we will be discussing is adding paint to tone down stuff. But anyway, um, I don't really like that one. Um, here is a piece of, this was an elephant tote bag I found in a, a catalog. I loved him. And I just love him on, this is a piece of packaging. I think it, it was a stencil, and this was in the back of this, the cardboard. Um, it was really cool. I couldn't throw it away. Um, so it ended up in here. And I just love the way it looks with the elephant. 
just love it. So this is just a matter of finding things that you like. Um, this is this is an ATC. It's a copy of an ATC. Um, I made um, a copy of it. I scanned my ATCs, just printed out that, and I just put it in here. Um, this is a very busy collage. There's all kinds of stuff going on in there. Um, it might be a little bit too busy, but, you know, um, that's what it is. And so when I say a collage, I'm talking about all kinds of different elements put together in a different kind of way um, to create another image, um, something for your eye to look at, to think about. Um, this one, this needs something. I don't know what yet, but it needs something. Maybe her hands need to be holding something. Um, here's a piece of napkin. Napkins are good. Um, and so, yeah, this is definitely um, another picture. A lot of work. It's a lot, a lot more work than I had expected, um, but I am having a whole lot of fun with it. Um, the one thing I do like about collage is, um, um, I knew the word a little bit ago, um, large things with small things. Um, I don't want everything to be in the same scale. I want, you know, it to be interesting. I mean, why is this great big huge face in front of this little tiny house? I want, I want this, the scale to be interesting, something different. Um, and I am really enjoying this book. Um, like I said before, I do have a video um, how to make the book. It's called the three tiered, the three tiered, I don't know what I called it, three tiered book. This is the book that I made in the video. And um, I don't know why I decided to make uh, since I already had a gray, you know, a brown, gray, you know, kind of thing, I don't know why I made another one. Um, this is brown, black, white, and gray. Um, and I'm not excited about working in this book, so I probably won't work in it. Um, that's one thing that I would like to address. Um, I'm probably going to sell this book because I don't want to work in, in another book that's almost exactly the same as the other thing. When you're doing collage, and I guess I can just leave this out here for a little bit longer while I'm talking about, um, you want to collect things that you enjoy. You want images that you enjoy working with. If you are collecting stuff that you aren't real happy about, if you are working with colors that you're not real excited about, if you're working with images that, you know, I, I don't know why I saved this, I, it's kind of a, a, a boring picture. If you're not excited about the stuff that you're working with, you're not gonna like your collage. Um, and you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot pick out pick um, pick out um, images that you like that catch your eye that are interesting to you um, don't worry about what everybody else is doing you make sure that you've got the colors that you enjoy working with especially when you're starting out with collage make sure that what you're working with are things that you like if you're working with things that you don't like um, you're not going to like the collage after you put all these things together. You're not going to like, if you don't like bicycles to begin with, you are not going to like bicycles in your collage. You're not going to enjoy your collage and you're going to get discouraged and you're going to want to stop doing collage because you're not having fun. If you are working with stuff that you really like, you're going to be more 
inclined to keep continue doing doing um, the collage and having fun with it. If you're if you're forcing yourself to work with images and colors that you don't like, if you're forcing yourself to work, um, you're not having fun. So um, please, 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 when you are collecting and um, and all that stuff. Make sure that it's images that you like, that you want to look at again and again and again, and all that good stuff. And I forgot washi tape. We've got washi tape in here too. Um, and I'm getting ready to put uh, some dressmaker pattern pieces in here, some handmade papers, um, all kinds of stuff. So, so let's talk about collecting stuff. Let's find some stuff that we like. Let me put this away. Um, like I said, I don't remember, remember exactly when I said it. Um, my daughter decided, she told me at Christmas that she wanted to start doing collage. And I was very excited. Um, I was surprised because she normally does not, she hasn't really done a lot of what I do. So I got really, really, really excited and decided um, that I would put a collage kit together for her. So I want to show some of the stuff that I am going to be putting in her. I'm going to I'm going to send her a great big box um, and a whole bunch of stuff. So I want to show you what I'm sending her. So to use, she's just beginning collage. Sorry guys, I needed a drink there. Um, she's just beginning. She hasn't started. She doesn't know what her style is. She probably doesn't know what she likes. Um, and I thought I would give her a jump start. Um, and because I've got tons, I got I got more than I really need. So I started with some book pages. Um, when I when I collage with book pages, I like um, to collect from dictionaries. I've got some dictionary pages for her. I, I've got um, regular novel book pages. I've got some poems. Um, I'm looking for different fonts, different size text, um, different kinds of words. So I have a collection here of a bunch of different um, actually, even the paper is different color. You can't really see it in in the camera. But, you know, we've got some whiter pages. I've got some math books. And I like some of the diagrams and stuff. So I'm adding some of that stuff. Um, I've got some really, really old encyclopedias that um, have some pictures and stuff. Different text, um, different fonts, and I am just adding a bunch of, of this kind of stuff. Different thicknesses of paper as well. It adds to the interest of the collage if you've got a different scale of print, text. If you've got, you know, and even these pages have little tiny print underneath. So, the, so something um, contrasting you're looking for different to put together to make a whole. So I have got a whole bunch of different um, text. I've got some Spanish. I have one Spanish book that I've been doing stuff with and some old um, math books. They're really, really old and falling apart. Um, and some magazine pages. I have got, I, I don't know what language it is. I think it might be Korean, but I'm not really sure. Um, just, they're, they're out of a magazine that I got in, in Atlanta. And I'm just going to give her a few of those magazine pages. So that's a bunch of text that I'm giving her. Now I've got some painted papers. I have painted a bunch of different papers and different colors because I don't know what kinds of things that she likes. So I just put a bunch of stuff together that I thought might be cool that she might be able to use. Um, 
and all that good stuff. Different stamping and some stencils and some metallic paints and some just some different things that she can decide how she wants to use it. I've got vellum. I need to find some more. I know I've got some somewhere. Um, I'm going to send her a couple more pieces of vellum. Um, some stamped images. I have got some stamps. I don't have a ton a ton. I'm getting more and more and more. Um, I don't have as many as I used to have because I got rid of a ton of stuff. But I've got stamps that I know that she doesn't. So some of these are some that I've had around for a while. I do plan on making some more for her because um, I cut um, some of these things out of here. But I'm going to stamp some images on, on paper. She can um, tint these. She can color them. She can leave them black and white. Um, she can do all kinds of stuff with the stamped images. So I will be adding a bunch of stamped images um, on regular paper and on tissue paper. Um, I like images on tissue paper because you can kind of see what's underneath when you glue it down. I haven't got to the tissue paper stamping yet. Um, I did some embossing. If you saw the video, um, I did um, some embossing because um, I want some of these images um, to use some of these images in my collage. Um, this is of course on silver paper. It's why it's all shimmery and shiny. Um, and I just did black fish on this, this piece of silver. Um, and I just did a whole bunch of embossing on, this is an envelope, security envelope, um, on scrapbook paper. Um, this is gold or silver or bronze on deli paper and you can see kind of what's underneath so if I put this on a page um, underneath will kind of peek through and add some interest so I have done all kinds of embossing on all kinds of different papers book pages um, found papers um, I did a lot of fish. I like fish. Um, a lot of people like the fish. So I've done quite a few um, different things with, um, with the fish. So she doesn't have to worry about using up a, one image. She's got you know a, a ton of fish to work with. I did emboss on some tissue paper like you guys saw in the video. Like I said, I like adding tissue paper because it does show up um, you can see underneath it especially when you glue it down you can see images underneath and it kinda um, blends the images together so there's some tissue paper images I'm adding tissue paper because I like to use all kinds of tissue paper um, I like patterned tissue paper I will be stamping patterns on some of the plain tissue paper um, this one has some patterns on it. I think it's stars. It's really hard to see. It's so dark. I think it's Christmas. It might be reindeer. Um, different kinds of tissue paper. And of course, we got the napkins. I'm sending her a bunch of napkins um, so that she can put some of these images in her collages as well. And that is just part of what I'm sending her. I'm also sending um, all kinds of things that I have printed out. All kinds of stuff. Hi Petka. Hi Dorothy. You like to collage a topic rather than random? Yeah, uh, yeah. Everybody has a different style. Everybody has a different thing that they like to do. Um, and beginning collage people um, don't always know what their style or, or what they like. So you gotta try a, kind of, a bunch of different things and then after a while you start seeing, uh, I, I like this one, but I don't like that. So what is the difference between them? Why do I like this and why do I not like that? Um, your eye, you, you kinda train yourself um, and then to when you go further when you've done it when you practice a little bit you begin to understand what you do enjoy seeing and um, you can identify what you like so um, 
this is a picture that I took this morning. Now, I like elephants, um, and I can never find enough elephants. So I went ahead, I got this scarf. It's an elephant scarf. I love my elephant scarf. Um, and I kind of like this, this elephant. Um, and I thought it would be kind of cool to put that in a collage. Well, I am not going to... I'm not ripping up my, my scarf because I want my scarf um, to put in a collage. You can put fabrics in collage. Um, that's perfectly legal. It's not against the rules. If you have fabric, you can do fabric collages too. Those are fun as well. But I like this image. So I went ahead and took a picture of the image and um, printed it out. Um, I'm not real happy with the print. Um, this is, this is a, I did it in fours because I didn't want it to be huge. Um, I'm going to have to work with the contrast and the brightness a little bit just to make that a little elephant come out. But you can take pictures of things um, to use in your collage. This is a, another one that I took this morning. Um, I have this little Egyptian cat and he is sitting in front of some lace that my great-grandmother made in Norway. Um, and I, he's, he's, there's two of them because I didn't want them really big so I made my printer print two to a page. So um, I like to take pictures of fabric. The patterns on fabric, um, I've got this wonderful silk and I won't dig it out right now but um, that would make some really neat scrapbook paper, this, this silk. Um, and I want to take pictures of it, and, and I'm going to when I get some time. But here's an image that I probably use in my collage. Um, this is also a picture. I didn't take it today, so I don't know where this object is. It might be in the other room. I meant to grab it. Forgot all about it. This is a box that I have. Um, and it's got this stamp on it. It must be, it's, I don't know what it is, um, but it is a box. I took a picture of the box. I might have scanned it, and then I printed it out. So I have this image to use in collage. Um, I do take a lot of pictures, um, or I have taken a lot of pictures in the past. Um, let me just show some of them. I was a photographer, an only a photographer. I gave, I did not do um, paper arts or crafts or anything for um, about six or seven years because I was taking pictures. And why won't it focus now? There we go. Um, I do have um, a lot of pictures on Flickr. I am caged fish on Flickr. Um, I did, I took tons, thousands. I have thousands and thousands of pictures. Um, and these were some of the most popular um, pictures that I took. Um, these are my egg shadows. I love eggs. I don't, I, love taking pictures of eggs. Um, I love the way that the eggs and their detail, if you can see the, all the little dimples in an egg shell. Um, I love the details of eggs and I love putting shadows on them. I love putting them on backgrounds that are white. Um, and I have, these are just a sample of the few of egg pictures that I have. I like eggs. Um, I take pictures of, this is my collection of white on, or light on white, and it's just white images on white backgrounds, um, nothing but white, and the shadows that they create. Well, I've got some other stuff in here too, I guess. Um, so, I love taking photographs. I take photographs of strange things that are weird and different. I love putting photographs 
in my collage. It makes it more personal. It makes it more yours. Um, you can take pictures of items that you have around the house that you love um, and you can incorporate those in your collages. Um, you're going to love your collage if it's all you. Um, so, of course, this is my color. I love color. We all know I love color. Um, and like I said, this is just a sample of the thousands of pictures that I have on Flickr. Of some of the things that I take pictures of. Um, these are termite wings. I was invaded by termites. They left their wings like a snow all over my floor and furniture, and I did collect them and took pictures of them. <laughs> I am a crazy person. Um, it took me hours to collect those wings. I now have them in a bottle. It's kind of they're kind of cool. Um, pieces of watches and clocks. Um, this is actually a textbook. Um, it's the spine of a book with the spiral bound um, that you're looking through. Um, so some of these pictures I would incorporate, I'm um, print out on paper and put in my collages just to make them more my own. I like taking pictures of weird stuff. Yes, lots of weird stuff. I love color. I love groups of things. I call these my clusters. Um, I just, I really love color. So these are some of the photos I have, um, ideas of things that you can take pictures of. Um, this is my grandmother's stuff. My, it's, a, it's a pin that my grandmother had in, on a mirror. Um, nails, I love nails and screws. Um, if you want to see more of those, um, I have thousands more on Flickr, Caged Fish on Flickr. Um, it's, it, it's where I used to put all my photographs. Um, so I have taken some of my photographs and printed them out so that I can use them in collage. Um, and th so that is um, some of my photographs. They don't turn out quite as nice because they are not on photograph paper. Um, they, they're kind of a dull matte kind of thing, but photograph paper is kind of hard to collage. Um, it's stiff and it's, it, it's, it's kind of rough. So those are some of my photographs. Um, you can use family photographs. These I have um, printed on regular paper again because photo paper is, is much stiffer. It's much harder to glue down. Um, so I've got some family photographs that I will be putting in my collages. Um, I also have my great grandmother's um, postcard collection that I scanned. Um, so I will be using some of those images. Um, this is actually from her family. They would write on top of the pictures so that they have more room to, to write what they wanted to write. And I just love the idea of the, it's Norwegian too, Norwegian text on top of the old pictures. Um, so I will be using those in collage as well. Um, and when you come right down to it, um, we're talking about taking pictures. I also scan things into the scanner. This is not a photograph. I actually placed all these tickets on the scanner bed and made a scan of them so that I can print those out. And I will not run out of tickets because I have more. Um, I almost used up all my tickets on my um, scavenger hunt book, uh, so I needed some more. So that's what I did. But you can use um, some of your documents as well. This is the visa uh, when I went to Kenya. Um, this was uh, the copy of my, my visa. I love the little tiny text. Um, I love the stamp that went with it and all the conditions and all that stuff. Um, I have printed it out on regular paper. Now I can still have my, my thing my whatever this the visa 
but I can use this in collage and um, it'll make it interesting and it's different and all that good stuff. Here's some family receipts. Um, uh, my family kept all their receipts, my grandparents. Um, so I printed out some of that so I can use it um, in my collage. Um, I collect words from newspapers. I took a picture of my box with all the words. So um, now I've got a picture of a collage that I can collage and um, tear up and add other stuff to. Here's a ticket. There's six of them there, but this one ticket um, I got in London. It's the Mechanical Cabaret, and I don't know, I don't think it's still around. Um, I was there in, in 89, um, and this was this ticket that got us in there. Um, my kids loved it. It was a cool, cool museum. It would be a shame if it's not around anymore. But I loved the ticket. I kept the ticket. Um, now I've printed it out. I can use it over and over and over again and still have my ticket. Um, so I suggest... Um, an, a, what do you call this? A pharmacy prescription thing. Um, I've got some books that my great grandfather had. They're all in Norwegian. Um, so I printed out quite a bit of this stuff to use in my collage. Did I lose the light? Okay. Um, go online and find um, Graphics Fairy is a great place to find images to use in collage. They are copyright free. They're old, old images. Graphics Fairy is my very favorite place. Um, they, she's got some great images to use. Um, and if you go to my Pinterest, I've got a whole board for Graphics Fairy. I haven't added anything to it lately. I need to add a bunch of stuff. Um, but she's got a bunch of stuff. And um, so printouts are great. This is an old Norwegian card. I think it went to my father. It might have went to somebody else. But I like the little image of the girl. So um, I printed that out. My trip to the Louvre. It's another one of my photographs. More images from the internet. Um, vintage ad cards. All kinds of stuff. And like I said, I will scan items that I don't really want to use um, or I know that I want to use more of just the one item that I've got, I would put them on the scanning bed um, and scan all kinds of stuff. These matchbooks are so funny. Um, you put them together and he makes a, you open them up and he's sticking out his tongue. When, you, when the matchbook is closed, he's got a closed mouth. Um, I love the camel one, um, genuine and imposter. Um, I don't want to use those. I want to keep them forever and ever and ever. I want to hoard them. I'm not ashamed. I am hoarding them. But I can still use those images. Um, another thing I scanned, coins. I just put them on a the scanner bed, put a piece of my painted paper over the top of it, and scanned it. So now I can cut out all these coins and use them in my collage. Watch parts. I've got... I've saved watch, um, watch faces, I've got hands, um, I've got a whole jar of that kind of stuff. Scan them. Use them. Here's another part of watches and stuff that I scanned. Keys. And I put Japanese um, or Chinese paper, I'm not sure which, um, on top of it and scanned the whole image. This is not a picture, but I could have taken a picture of this to use as collage. Clothing labels. Yes, I save interesting clothing labels. Um, so now I have copies of them that are paper that are easy to add. Old artwork. If you copy that um, to use. Here is part uh, one of my pages from my scavenger hunt book. Um, it's the tickets. I need to fiddle with the color because the color is not quite right. It's a little kind of weird. Um, it's dark or something. Are you guys still with me? Um, but I can use this, cut it up, um, use it as a background and put other stuff on top of it. Another thing that I like to do 
Um, I love text in my collages. So I went to my word processor that I have. I have a free one. And just typed in random letters, just in a whole great big block. There are no words in here. All it is is random letters. Um, I can tint this in different colors. I can print it on different colored paper and have different different texts. I can print it larger or smaller. Um, and I have a ton of um, stuff to use as backgrounds in collage. Um, clip art is great. I have a whole book of patterns of clip art. Um, they're copyright free as long as you're just using them for personal images. I love doing that. Um, here are some letters written by my great, 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 great grandfather from Norway. He's a Norwegian. These writ were written in this one. Um, I think these were like 1912 and stuff. Um, this one was written by my great great uncle in 1922. He had the most fantastic handwriting I've ever seen. Um, here is my grandmother's collection of wine recipes. I thought was very interesting, so I took a picture of it. <laughs> I think this one actually might be scanned, um, and I will be using that. Cookbook. My grandmother was a great cook. She had many notebooks that she put her favorite recipes in so that she can get them right away. Um, this one is strawberry shortcake. Um, that is her handwriting. It's just a copy. So I can put all kinds of stuff of my great of my grandmother's. I can put her writing into my collages and it makes it really, really personal. This is my great grandmother's um, insurance booklet newspaper. I happened to get this one at a Chinese restaurant. Um, I asked if I could have a, have one and she said yes. So I scan it so that I don't use it all up. And I can use up this paper. It also makes the paper a little bit better for collaging. Um, I don't know what that was exactly. It came from the paper as well. It must be some kind of I don't know, but it, all kinds of numbers. I love numbers. Um, you like my Pinterest boards? Um, I I do um, I do have a Pinterest. It's Caged Fish Pinterest. I do like to keep my collections um, together on my Pinterest board. If you're interested in some inspiration, I do have a world of imagination. Um, and I like to visit it when I'm having some stressful days. Um, my world of imagination is just really cool images that I just like looking at. Um, I also have collections of uh, vintage um, trade cards and um, letters, interesting letters that, that um, famous people have written. Alice in Wonderland, I like Alice in Wonderland. so. Um, if you have some time, I know Pinterest sucks you in and you're there forever and you can't get out again, but if you have some time and some interest, um, I do have a Pinterest board um, that I should spend more time with, but I have other things to do. Copies of dictionaries. I love music, um, but I don't have very much of it. So I do copy it out so that um, I can use it without fear of running out and not having to buy more. Um, I do have lots and I have scanned my music sheets so I can use it over and over and over again. Some old books that my great grandfather had. Um, I love fish so I printed out fish. I, these are um, just from probably um, anywhere on the internet. Butterflies because I love putting wings on things. Um, and eggs. You know I love the eggs. So here is the same image printed on a magazine picture just to make it interesting. So I will be collaging all that stuff. So my daughter will be getting a whole bunch of this printed stuff as well as all the other stuff. So she's going to have quite a bit of stuff.
stuff to start out with. And when you're collecting, when you're finding images, um, find images that you like. If you don't like the looks of fish, don't collect them. Don't try to make yourself use things that you don't like. Don't try to, um, don't try to use colors that you don't like. Don't try to do too many things at one time. Go slow. We're slowing down. We're, we're just, we're going to have some fun and we're going to relax with it. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to look at our pictures and our images and we're going to enjoy collecting them and we're going to enjoy using them and putting them together and having some fun. And I think that's been my problem a little bit as I think I was going too fast. Um, I like to fiddle. I like to um, audition stuff, put stuff together, um, take a look at how it looks together. So I think that is everything for collecting. Um, another thing that I will be adding to my daughter's collection is some scrapbook papers. Um, if you don't want to print out stuff, there are tons and tons of scrapbook papers that have patterns, that have flowers, music, um, writing, um, and I love my tickets. So when I found this scrapbook paper with tickets on it, I am going to cut all those little babies out and use them in my collage. Don't forget scrapbook paper. Don't forget book pages, um, calendar pages, all those calendars that you had last year. Don't throw those away. They've got pictures on them. You can use parts of pictures and all that good stuff. Um, Another thing, make sure that you are collecting stuff from your life. Bus tickets, movie tickets, um, parking tickets, uh, anything that you use, uh, money, money, I have somebody bringing these home to me, um, pieces of mail, postage, postage stamps are really, really fun in collage. Um, Anything that's got any kind of paper it, uh, is fair game. The numbers from the deli, love them. I love numbers. Anything that's got numbers on them, I am all over. Um, here is something, fibers. I, it might be yarn. It might have been embroidery floss. It was that held the skein together. Um, Tickets, any kind of tickets, any kind of writing, pieces of letters, um, correspondence, you know what I mean? Um, you want to save letters, words, you want to put all that kind of stuff. Um, text in any different size, um, letters are very pleasing to the eye. If you incorporate letters, just plain letters, parts of words that don't really make any sense. It's the line that your eye is looking at. It's not necessarily trying to read the word. Um, it will break up some of your other things. So um, you want to save letters and words and that kind of thing. Um, I think this is my tickets what I have left of them. And my box is breaking. It doesn't want to open anymore. Yeah, here's my tickets. Um, I got all kinds of tickets. I love tickets. I, and I save them. Uh, I, I want to put all my little red tickets together so they're all put together. Um, you, and then the, of course you've got the magazine images. It, magazine magazine images. Um, if you watched my video harvesting, um, harvesting. I'm glad you like it shells. Um, harvesting a magazine. I show kind of what I look for when I am going through a magazine um, images. The magazine that I picked wasn't the best magazine. Um, I like a magazine like National Geographic. Um, let me see if I can grab one real fast. Of course I can't. Ouch. All right, here's one. 
Here's one. I like National Geographic. Let me pull myself up off the ground here. Um, because they've got interesting images. When you're doing collage, see that is just cool all by itself. One thing that you do have to keep in mind, some images, busy, busy images like this, are better for like a glue book. Um, they're almost too busy for collage. Um, I like color and that's what this is all about. I will go into that a little bit later, but um, I like images that are different, I like this face. Um, you don't necessarily need a whole image. When you're doing collage, um, rules don't, there's no rules. So you can have a hand sticking out there grabbing, you know, a really tiny little bird uh, or a little tiny hand grabbing a huge bird or, you know, scale matters. You could have this little guy you know, with um, a ball bounced on, on his head, or you could put a crown on him or a hat on him, or, you know, making the little wor worlds, making a, an alternate reality, um, creating something funny, a dream world. Um, I'll get the green on that. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm loving that. Um, I like National Geographic because they have interesting images. Um, interesting images to use. And, and um, all I have to do is tear that out and incorporate it somehow. Um, the challenge is what do you put with, with things to make them more interesting. Um, so um, when you're looking for images, you know, think of scale as well. Huge things um, parts of things work well in collage. It doesn't have to be a whole image. You know, half a face is good. Um, I do collect color, and I would like to do some color collages, just collages that are done with color. Um, and so I collect color. Um, I've been trying to sort the colors out. Blue is a really hard one to... Um, by Helen, it to 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 match. Um, so I have purple is horrible to try to match. Not all purples go together. It's really kind of tough sometimes to get purple to go together. Um, but I want to do just um, not necessarily images, uh, focal points. Um, I just want color. I just want to put all kinds of color together. Red is a really easy one to do that with. When I was a quilter, my rule was all reds go together, and they kind of do. If you, I put in um, a really crazy red quilt, I found every single red that I could possibly find. I bought a little tiny bit of every single fabric that I could find, and the quilt turned out wonderful. Um, but when you get to purple, you can't do that. Not all purples go together. Purple is a really hard color to deal with. Um, I've got yellow, um, and I've got some color combinations. Of course, um, some, some color schemes that I am working with. I love the weird color of this pizza. I'm trying to get the glare off of it. So I am matching other things that go with this and then I'm going to put them together in a collage um, just for color. So that's what all this book is, is my little bits of color um, to try and do something with because I love just looking at color. So I put together a bunch of different things. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them yet, um, but I like the color scheme altogether, uh, and so this is what I would be fiddling with. Let me see how I can put these together. Of course, I would trim off the white um, and uh, arrange them and rearrange them and play around and fiddle and see what I like. I might put something on the background, um, 
that's the part that I really, really like to do, and I haven't had a chance to, to really do that yet. Um, but I'm looking forward to it, uh, just to, to fiddle and to relax and play. It takes me a long time um, to put something together. I like to put it together, kind of walk away from it for a little bit, and come back and see if I still like it. Um, sometimes that helps if something's not quite right with something. Um, step away from it, come back to it later. Um, you can kind of see what's going on that you're not that your eye is catching. Sometimes if you turn something upside down, you'll see things that you don't see right side up and you can fix them. So these are some of my, my color bits. Um, and some of the ways that I save my color bits so that I can find some of them again. Of course, I've got a great big shoebox full of stuff as well that needs to be sorted. It takes time to do this, um, and I haven't had time. So, talking about actually putting collages together, um, this is what I have been doing. I have these two... Um, portfolios and I get these um, I got this one at Michael's um, they have the eight and a half by eleven so I can put a standard size um, piece of paper in them and I like these because the the plastic sleeves are sewn in and they don't it's with the with the other sleeves I'm sometimes fighting the book if I get uh, too big um, and I I don't want to fight my papers and the book and everything else to do my collages in so I have put um, some images that I kind of want to use as backgrounds, and I am finding things that kind of go with those images. And of course, I haven't found a lot because I just started putting some of these in here. Um, but this is a good way to audition little bits. Let me see if I can find one that is actually has some stuff in it. I don't think this one does. I think my other one does. Um, but these are images that I want to use. These are the, the things that I thought were really cool. And so I'm going to try to find, in all my other little bits, I'm going to find things to add to these to make them collages and to make them more interesting so that I can look at them and um, inspire myself uh, to do more. Um, yeah, I don't have very much in here. I think most of my workings in progress are in this one. This one's an 8 by 10 size. So, um, like I said, I put some background down, something that I thought was interesting, and I'm looking for other stuff to put on top of it. So, I thought that this was a really cool advertisement, but of course it's advertisement, so it's got this, I guess it's gum, that I really don't want. So I'm finding things that will look good to cover up that, that bit. There's words on the side. I'm going to need something to cover that up. Um, and I'm looking for color, and I'm looking for objects, and I'm looking for different things to interact with my background to make a really cool picture. Um, and I'm finding that sometimes some of these pictures are more suited for um, glue books, not necessarily collage, because they're kind of already complete. And that is, that's one of them. That it might, I might not finding a lot to go with them. So here is a background that I really like, but I don't like all those words in the middle, so I'm going to have to find something to cover that up. And I have been finding, actually this is the bottom part of that, and I ripped it off so it would fit in my thing. But I kept it because I like the little tiny text. That whole block right there is text. It doesn't look like it from a distance, which I like a lot. So I can probably incorporate that someplace else later on. And I like the look, the color of these people, and they cover up quite a bit of that the words, so I'm looking for more stuff to make the collage interesting. So until I find more stuff, I'm just going to keep it in here, keep my eyes open for more stuff that might look 
good in that. And sometimes I flip through like I just did for, for my daughter's stuff just to see, you know, match up stuff and, and oh, that would be interesting in there. Um, I do fussy cut stuff out because um, it's fun to audition stuff. I'm like, I'm, I'm auditioning. Before I glue anything down, I'm fiddling. I'm playing. That would be kind of funny to have, there's a piece of paper in here, and get that out of there. But it would be kind of funny to, to have her falling out of the cup. You're making a different reality. You're making a dream world. You're making, you know, something that doesn't really exist until you put the paper together to, to make the picture. Um, and you can do anything, anything at all. Here's another one I'm kind of excited about. I haven't gotten very far. I love this picture of the window. Um, not very often do you see half opened, half closed window. It did come out of a catalog, so it's got um, prices and stuff all over it. Um, I'm probably gonna have to trim it down because I don't really like the white border, but I am going to find things that go on top um, that hide the prices and all that good stuff um, but I just love the way that looks it doesn't make any sense that there's a statue in front of the window but I like the way it looks I like that as a background so I will be finding more stuff um, I'll probably add some book text or or whatever to that um, when I spoke before about just glue it down, just glue it down, it's not always the case. You know, so you want to audition some stuff. You want to play around, see what's best. If you glue something down and you decide, you know, I really don't like the looks of that, um, you're kind of stuck with it. And, and then you've lost your little bits that you might like. Um, are these individual collages or are they going in a book? At this point, I am not sure. Um, I am not sure. Uh, these are awfully large for any of the books that I have going on right now. So I might just have to make them single collages. Um, I would like to, you know, pull out... This isn't the one. I need the other one. I would like to pull out... Um, my my collage book and try to incorporate some of them and I was gonna look that that picture right here is way too big for a page on here but I thought that would be kind of cool um, I haven't decided yet I'm not um, yeah I want the whole window on my page it might just be big enough but it might look funny if it's just the window I kinda want some of the background too I haven't decided. Um, I would like to put some more collages in this book. I would like to do some smaller ones. Um, so I don't know. But I, I wanted to show the big size so you could see what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard um, when you get the small signatures out, like I was going to show you in a minute. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera what I'm talking about when we're talking about small pictures. So I put some bigger stuff together so you could kind of see what I'm talking about, you know, auditioning little bits, finding little things that look interesting together, um, and that kind of thing. I want you to be able to see what I'm talking about, I'm trying to not, not to guess. Um, so that's what I'm doing here is I'm collecting little bits that go together. And then when I get what I think are enough little bits to do my collage, um, I can start fiddling and arranging and finding something that I like before I start gluing stuff down. I'm just collecting little bits that I think I like together. I liked this last night when I did it, but now that I'm looking at it, those greens do not go together. Don't like that. Um, I'm going to have to rethink it. So I like the fact that I'm putting them together and looking at them at different times of day um, before I glue stuff down because if I had gl glued that down, I would have hated it when I looked at it today. Um, so that's all that this book is. I love the plastic sleeves to be able to do that, to keep things together. 
um, so that I can revisit them later and take a good look at what there is. I love this lady on the beach. She's reading, and I love this beach scene. The rest of the page is pretty much blank. It's got some words on it. So I've added a piece of scrapbook paper because I like the color of that. I've added a book because she's reading a book. Um, I like the, the heart out of a text. I found that. I don't know what I was doing. Um, and some other little bits of magazine pictures. Um, um, and then when I think I've got enough stuff, I've got enough interest, I can start, you know, maybe ripping this this page, uh, the scrapbook paper, uh, cutting, fussy cutting out that book, um, arranging stuff to make uh, a nice little scene, a nice little moment that I will enjoy looking at. Um, I do enjoy having these books um, so that you can fiddle around and play and you can put them away um, pretty much and it stays where it's supposed to stay. Um, you, you like the idea of saving things in pages, yes. You audition stuff on your desk and your dog goes by and everything goes flying. Exactly. Um, I've got cats. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's nice to be able to actually move it and look at it in different lights. Um, in some light you'll see different things. Uh, the colors will come out differently um, and that kind of stuff. You can move stuff around and, you know, and, and really take a look at it. Um, it's different when you're looking down at something, but when you put it up and you're looking at it like on a wall, it looks completely different. You want to be able to, to take a look uh, at doing stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this one. I think I've almost got enough elements collected um, to do something with. Uh, it, it probably will be something in here, but I just love those colors together. Um, and I'll probably do something with those. So let me see here. We're getting, we're getting down to time here. Um, um, and there was just a few other things that I wanted to talk about. I didn't get anything done today. Uh, I really just wanted to um, talk about, you know, collecting images and um, smaller, you know, smaller little bits, you know, audition, audition stuff. You know, I've got these words down here that I don't really like the looks of, but putting that cup uh, in front of them really, really helps a lot. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about images is fussy cutting really does make a difference. If you've got a background, you want the background to be like this. You do not want to put on, uh, let me see if I can find a small-ish picture. Here's a window. All right, that's just a window. You don't want to put a square picture on top of that. Um, it looks, it doesn't look like they belong. They don't, but um, it looks like you put a, a picture in front of another, in front of the background. If you fussy cut around where you can see the background through the image, around the image, the, 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 the image looks more incorporated in your collage. You're gonna like your collage a lot more if it looks like it belongs together, even when it doesn't. This cup, obviously, does not belong there, but it looks like, um, it looks like it could actually be real. It looks like, you know, the colors kind of match and it kind of, it kind of looks cool. Um, you have to play around and, and, and work at things like that. Fussy cutting around images um, it really does help incorporate that image into the background. It makes it look like they belong together. Um, if I was to put just a square image on top of that, you don't see any of the background. It doesn't look like they belong together. 
Um, if I was to fussy cut that out and put it on top of there, you can see the trees behind, um, you're gonna find more interest in it. It's gonna be a lot more interesting. Um, you don't wanna fussy cut everything, but you do want to incorporate some fussy cutting. Um, try to make things belong a little bit. You're gonna like it a whole lot better. Take the time. Um, it takes a lot of time. Take some, some practice. But you're gonna like your images so much better um, if you just take a little bit more time to to um, to do some of that stuff. Um, he would be kind of cool on this map. Um, kind of like the colors together. He's kind of really kind of neat. I might have to put him together in a sleeve just to visit him later. Um, so yes, fussy cutting, um, it makes a difference. It really makes a big difference to put, you have a background and uh, to put something on top. Layer up your background. Um, I don't have time now. Well, I might have a little bit of time. Um, layer up your background. Put some different interesting things on the background. Like I said, you're kind of like making music. You want some, some instruments playing in the background, you want some some backup singers uh, echoing your lyrics and stuff like that. Um, you don't want your lead singer singing all by himself. You want him to have a little bit of support. You want some interest. You want um, a melody and a drum beat and um, all those little other little things. Um, you the sometimes it's the more the better. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff in here, um, some little little bits. You know, fussy cut some something out. You put something like that on a collage. Um, it makes it interesting. You know, why is this bird on her eye? You know, where else can you put it? You can put it on her cheek. Why is that branch coming out of her mouth? Um, make a little world. You know, have the, the, the items inside your collage interacting with each other. You don't want just a bunch of stuff just slapped on a page. You want them to be interacting a little bit. You want them to, to be involved with each other in some kind of way. It makes it more interesting. Um, I was going to do some backgrounds and stuff, um, but like I said, I am... I've been talking too long. I've been talking way too long. I hope I haven't bored everybody. Um, you appreciate all the information. Thank you, thank you. I'm I'm glad. I I'm 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 hoping um, that some people that needed a little bit more direction. Um, I'm hoping uh, to talk through um, some give you some more um, courage, more courage to try some stuff out. Um, I've done some stuff in this, in these signatures. Um, that's a new one. I'm not real, real happy with it. Um, I think one of my problems is I'm not really excited about working in the junk journals. Um, I'm not real excited about having to cover up some of these pages entirely. Um, I want some of uh, what's there to come through. Um, so I'm kind of rethinking working in these junk mail, junk journal kind of things. Um, I will be revisiting this and thinking about it some more. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing. I have lots of options. Um, and I did want to say, did anybody hear from Carol? Um, the reason I am working in, and I'm working in signatures. Um, I am working in signatures because, especially with the three-tier book. Um, I made the book and then started doing all the collages. Obviously, that's what you see me do. It, sometimes I am fighting the book trying to put stuff down. Um, of course, it doesn't lay entirely flat, 
So I am trying to audition stuff, trying to put something down, seeing what looks like something that looks like on top of stuff, and then my page falls and I can't see what's going on. I am fighting the book um, a little bit too much. Uh, and that is why I decided for, uh, for just some relaxing collage. I want to relax with my collage. Um, I decided that I would just put some pieces of paper together. I did sew them together into signatures. And this would be a signature uh, right here. So what I'm doing is just working on this little bit outside of the book. When I get all the signatures done, I'm going to sew them into a book. But it's easier for me to work on the signatures outside. And the reason I made signatures, the reason I sewed these pages together so that I can work on them and have a double page spread the way it will look like in the book, I can do all kinds of stuff and I'm not fighting the rest of the book um, and I have the double page spread out there instead of doing individual pages trying to put them together and trying to make them feel like they belong. I can do both sides of this page at one time and have it be one collage not two separate ones because I did this part this page first and then I did the back of this page and put them together. So the colors kind of will, will be together, it will kind of match a little bit. Um, so I have sewn them together so they will stay together and I don't have to worry about them falling to the ground and um, um, having to figure out where everything went again. Thanks Vicki, bye Vicki. Um, so I have got quite a few little signatures um, I've got the nine signatures all sewn together um, to work in. I haven't started working in these yet. I haven't really decided if I want to work with the junk mail. I'm not real excited about it. And like I said, if you're not excited about working with what you have, uh, you might have a problem. Uh, and you may want to rethink what you're working with. If it's the image or if it's the book or if it's you know the backgrounds or or whatever you really 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 I can't stress that enough you really want to love the images and the backgrounds that you're working with. You want to like the colors and the images because if you don't, you're not going to like your collage at the end. And then you're going to feel like you wasted a whole bunch of time working on stuff that you don't like. And then you're going to stop doing collage. And if you had used images that you liked in the first place, um, you're gonna have, the chances are you're going to enjoy your collages a whole lot more. Um, and I was going to show how to put together a background like I said, I don't want to get started and then um, have to stop because uh, Carol comes on real soon. Anyone here from Carol? She was sick last week. And I'm going to take one of these collage, one of these signatures, and I'm not real sure that I want to. Hi, Sarah. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to work on these. I, I don't know if I'm loving the junk mail. I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm still kind of messing around with it. I, I like this collage, but I just I don't like the idea of um, let me find a page. Uh, maybe not so much that one. There's got to be a page in here that I just hate. Um, I don't like the idea of, of course, when I'm looking for an example, I can't find it. Something like this. I have to cover every inch 
of this page because I don't like anything on here. So I need to cover that all up because I don't want to look at it. Um, and that's a lot of work. So I am going to work on this page um, until we hear from Carol. Um, I'm just going to continue showing you some of the stuff that I am doing. Um, I've got my collage basket out here with my text and security envelopes. And I got all kinds of bits and pieces already torn up that I'm going to pull out and use. And some bigger pieces that I can rip up. I don't want to use all my spirograph ones. Not yet. There's another nice a big piece. Um, let me put that one back. I can use that and that and that. Let me put that back. You get some more little bits and pieces out here. Don't forget to, to use um, instructions and diagrams in your collages. They are very interesting. They make great backgrounds. All right, I just need some more text in a different font. I'm looking for something a little different. Here's some pieces that are and I am going to use that. I wanted to use some stuff that's at some high contrast so you can see how to do an interesting background. Now that's here's something. When your background is too busy, you can't see what's going on on the page. You're not going to be happy with it. Um, so I wanted to make a busy background. I'll just use some of that. All right. All right. Really, really fast. A, a busy background. Let me get my glue book out here. Hey, Linda. The IKEA instructions, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> I guess you recognize that, huh, Sarah? Yes. Um, the IKEA instructions for my table. Yes. Um, yes. And I will be using a lot of that. Um, I noticed that um, in my, I got a pan, I think, from IKEA, and they also had instructions in all kinds of different languages. And my photo paper had a great big huge pamphlet, um, I guess telling about the paper and every single language imaginable. It was absolutely fabulous. Um, I could not believe it and I don't know where it is. Um, I am going to use a big piece of this um, to cover up a lot of space fast. And I need my glue book still. What did I do with my glue book? Can't find it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There it is. There it is. And I'm going to use huge paces on the bottom. It goes so much faster. Um, cover up uh, a major amount of stuff that you don't want to show. Well, that's too big for that side, so let me use it on this side. Like I said, I don't want any of that showing. So, that's too long. So I am just going to cover up with some huge pieces. And then use smaller pieces. You haven't seen, you haven't seen Carol? She hasn't tweeted or anything? That's not good. She was sick. Has anybody heard from her lately? She's probably getting ready. 
I am going to cover this whole page up. And this page is so thin I can see the stuff underneath it, and I'm not happy. So I am just going to keep um, layering stuff until I get a background that I am happy with that I don't have to see all that nonsense. So I put huge pieces on the bottom and larger pieces or smaller pieces on top just because um, it goes faster, much faster. Actually, let me put the squared piece down there. Um, see, I've almost got the whole thing covered and I haven't really used very much. I like that it's faster that way. So I can continue. Somebody let me know if and when they hear from Carol. Um, it is time for me to go. It's her time. It is her time. Um, I will continue a little bit longer if she's let me know if, when she comes on, okay? And then I will do the, I can release you. I need a new page here. Okay, I want some of this busyness put on here so I can show you how to use some gesso or some paint to tone down a busy, busy background. You don't want your background to be too busy, too distracting from your, your focal points. I've got glue all over my hands already and I haven't even done anything. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where are the rest of those? There they are. So you can see that this is kind of becoming a busy, busy background. Went to her homepage and no tweets yet. Nothing from Carol on Twitter. Uh oh. Uh oh. She usually does. She usually says one way or another, right? She usually isn't missing an action, unless she's really, really sick, right? Let me know. Everything is sticking to me. I need a baby wipe. Everything is sticking really bad. Really, really bad. And going too fast because <laughs> I thought my time was up. So I am just making a really weird background and I'm just trying to cover up what was there before because um, I really didn't like it. Really, really. Do you need some more dark stuff? Well, I didn't get enough dark stuff to make this really weird. Because um, it's kind of turning out kind of cool. We put one more piece over here. She usually keeps you updated and, and she hasn't said anything. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, so I've got this background and sticky fingers. And I guess I will just relax just a little bit here um, since we haven't heard from her. It is time for her to come on. I might have to stop the recording real fast, but let me just show you what I'm gonna do with this background. And then I will stop the recording. 
Um, this is a busy, busy background. If you start putting stuff on something like this, um, your focal images will probably get lost. Let me see if I can find something that is kind of fussy cut. Um, well, kind of, but not really. But you've got these dark little bits here um, that that kind of distract from your main little bit, your main focal image that you want to to show. See, if I put something like that, um, your your eye is distracted by all the stuff in the back. So one of the ways to fix that. Let me grab some white paint. You can use gesso. Let me use some gesso because it's right here and I want to use it up. You can use some gesso. And I'm just going to put on just a little tiny bit. Little tiny. And I'm going to use a clean card to wipe it around, or I can use a baby wipe. And I'm just going to put a little bit, you can use watered down paint, I prefer watered down paint, um, white paint, or even just a, a tinted color. Um, and if you put gesso, I probably need a little bit more. It tones down that background. I do need a little bit more. It tones down the background just a little bit. Blends all that stuff in and kind of covers up some of the dark areas and the text and blend stuff a little bit. You can add a little bit of color to this. I need some more. No tweets still. Carol, Carol, where are you? Let me get the bottoms here. And you can see a light, well it's not really that light is it? Just a little coat of gesso or watered down paint will really tone down your background um, and blend everything all in and nice and so when you put something on top it pops off the page a little bit more so your backgrounds all nice and blended and you can stamp on there and all kinds of stuff. Um, let me put this nonsense away because I'm not going to use that. And let me dry this page. I'm going to use the heat gun. Um, but that's all I really wanted to say. I am going to stop the recording. Um, make backgrounds and then you can start auditioning uh, fun stuff to put on your collage page. Um, you can add more stuff to the background before you start adding your focal points. And um, you've got a lot of choices with your focal points. Lots of stuff to add. So um, I want to stop there for the recording. Um, so thank you everyone. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. Bye everybody. See you next week. Uh, and I hope you have a better time doing some more collage this week. Um, I'm going to be doing collage again next week, so um, thanks for watching.